IPS went on a treasure hunt. Digging through boiler rooms and air conditioners, it found a small fortune of wasted energy. Uh, at, at this point, we're about 1.1 million. 1.1 million dollars mm -hmm. in half a year. Correct. Significantly more savings than the deputy superintendent counted on. So you're the million dollar man? No. The million dollar men are those that are making it happen. Coil entering water temp is 74.7. All the heating, cooling, and electrical systems of all 71 IPS buildings are monitored day and night by a bunch of computers in one location. Anything I want to do, I can do from here. We start at midnight. IPS and its contractor, Synergistics, can turn on or off, troubleshoot, or adjust about a million different energy consuming parts and pieces. It essentially, we, we found systems that were running all the time. The energy and money saving initiative began less than a year ago. With all the machinery now under control, next up, the more difficult task of changing human behavior. Getting teachers to turn off lights in unused classrooms. Getting students to turn off computers and other equipment at the end of the day. The individual savings, although seemingly small. When you multiply it across all the equipment in the district, that, in, that those small increments really add up to a lot of money. IPS spends more than $13 million a year on energy. As an incentive to cut the bill, Synergistics gets about half of the savings. Expectations are high. Frankly, I'll be disappointed if we don't hit $2 million this school year. Money being wasted in boiler rooms can be put to work in classrooms. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.